What's up everybody, welcome to The Walking Dead, the day will come when you won't be, episode recap reveal, heads up, spoilers, so if you're not here for that, see your way out, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> so here we go, description from TV, last season ended with Rick and our group kneeling helplessly before Negan and his group, what Negan does will haunt those survivors forever. They're selling point on TV. Um... So yeah, this starts off with Negan staring Rick in the face and then dragging him in the RV to have go for a ride, sonny boy. Um, so he does that and he basically tells him, like, give him a chance to kill him with the axe, which is a hatchet. Um, it has a short handle. So he grabs it and then Negan pulls his gun on him. He's like, hoo <laughs> hoo hits him, knocks him down. And he's like, we could be friends, man. Think about it. Think about what happened back there. And basically, they wait 30 minutes to show you what actually happened. Which is a big, you know what, to everyone who watched the show. So the way it last season, season ended and went, oh, what the fuck? On Twitter and whatnot. So then, it how they did that is Negan tosses his axe out the RV and tells Rick, go get my axe. He goes out and gets it. And there's zombies and he's pushing them around and the whole time you're seeing flashbacks to the beginning to where the end preview commercial things they had going on. So they show Glenn, Abraham, so they show everybody and you're like, who could it be? So then he ends up on top of the RV and Negan's the whole time belittling him, like, think about what could happen to him. Get my axe. And then he starts shooting at it. And while he's Rick's laying on top of the RV, the axe is right here by his face. And then somehow he jumps onto the guy, because he drove him to where they burned the wood and hung the guy. And basically he's like hanging there for a minute. And then falls down and crawls away and gets the axe and it's like so there was two axes one on the roof and one on the floor or he shot it bullet went through it forced it off the roof what happened then it shows you what really happened he smashed in abraham's face and abraham told him to suck my nuts and then he smashed in glenn's face because daryl punched him and he's like i told you guys i'm negan and I like to swear a lot, but this is cable TV, so I can't be like my actual character in the comic. So then he bashes in Glenn's face, and the eyeballs out. And it's much like the comic, he tells Maggie he loves her, and then he smashes his face in. And then they're going to cut off Carl's hand, and he's going to make Rick do it. And then he's like, no, I said, now you're looking at me how I want you to, so you're my people. Give me half your stuff. And I own you. And then he takes Daryl into the back of a truck and drives him off. And for me, that's kind of where it ended because my internet went to hell and I couldn't watch TV because I don't have cable. I'm on the fire stick with the sling. But I'm guessing they kind of just packed everything up and were real sad and everything. Because it ended when I finally got the internet and everything worked. It ended with... Uh, Rick in the RV driving, looking at the zombie carnival's headlights and had it and close on his face. So that's how it went for me. Kind of skippable. Skip forward 30 minutes so you see everybody die and then if you're into Negan boasting, you're here for that. Peace.